Hi everyone, welcome to the final Armour All Summer Grill for this season. Stevie J and I, we've been sitting at the Corumban Beach Surf Club for what, about three weeks straight now? Yeah, 21 <laughs> days or whatever it is, yeah. you're looking very tan. Yeah, thank you, no offence, but you're starting to smell. Yeah, yeah thanks, thanks. <laughs> Our final topic for this series, Chas Mostert, of course, making his debut this year as a Ford factory pilot. How do you think he's going to go alongside uh, team stalwart Mark Winterbottom? Yeah, you know, Chas is definitely fast. We've seen that in 2013. Um, coming into this year, it's going to be, you know, it's, it's going to be a tough ask for Chas to beat Mark in an overall sense for the championship. Mark's very fast. He's very consistent. You know, Chaz is lacking that consistency and he, you know, he, he only lacks that because he lacks experience. So the more Chaz gets in and drives, uh, the car, the team is different, very, you know, very much a, a commercially aspect team where um, you know, he's going to have to be doing a lot of PR, uh, very different to last year with, with our team with DJR. So um, you know, Chaz has got a lot to learn, not so much in the car, or in the car as well, but also out of the car. Um, I think Mark's still going to have his measure for the year. Chaz is definitely going to show some speed and some glimpses of, uh, you know, uh, I guess, uh, to show what he can and what he is capable of in a yeah. race car. But, um, you know, I think still Mark is going to show him up for, for this year. Being a Ford factory pilot, it's a massive deal. I'm sure that most V8 drivers growing up wanted to race for a manufacturer. Do you think, though, that maybe too much expectation might be placed on him? Yeah, this year? quite possibly. I think uh, you know the environment that he's going into this year compared to last year with our team is very different. We're a very relaxed family team. Um, you know, James Courtney is a uh, testament to that. You know, he we got the best out of James in 2010, um, and he's gone to HRT, which is a factory team, a lot more expectation. You know, and he's found the going a lot tougher. So, uh, you know, I think Chaz is going to find that as well. Let's hope he can find his feet and, um, you know, I guess then deal with the outside influences, you know, as well as, uh, as well as what you need to to perform on the track. All right, well, let's hear what the man himself has to say. Yeah, it's pretty emotional to, um, st you know, get the beginning uh, in main game and never thinking that you're going to get it on the podium or anything like that. But other than that, winning a race is uh, an unbelievable feeling. As a, as a young guy, you all you ever dream about is standing on the top step in a, in a main game race and um, yeah I'm still speechless at the moment I'm just kind of waiting for this weekend to I guess just tick over and, and finish and then um, I guess look back on the year and, and have a look at some of the stats and stuff like that and then actually try and remember some of it because it's just uh, been pretty hectic for a young DBS driver and, and how busy the schedule gets and without trying to let it all soak in so I'm kind of looking forward to a little break coming up and yeah just uh, soaking it all in. You, you know, you had some, some downs as well. Um, you know, we've got to point out, you know, Bathurst was a tough weekend, um, but, uh, you know, the team sort of rallied together and got the car back to, back together. What, um, what were your thoughts on that weekend? It must have been a bit of a test for you. Yeah, for sure. It wasn't the best weekend to, you know, basically ride off a, a, ride off a car around Bathurst, one of the tracks you, you respect the most and uh, bite you hard there when you make a mistake. And uh, it just shows a, a true true team that can put a car back out there on Sunday when there's basically not a car that comes back on the tilt race so uh, pretty tough weekend for me it's obviously uh, pretty you know it kind of wrecks you in, inside that um, you'd never want to go out of the track and do that and, and put your team through those circumstances but you know saying that you're just so eager to get back out there and and um, and try and do well for your team after you've had such a bad chance. Moving to the, the official Ford factory team next year, what are your expectations there? And also, you, you're going to be measured against Mark Winterbottom, who's been a bit of a, a bit of a mentor, I guess, to you? Yeah, for sure. I've looked up for Mark for up to Mark for years, and uh, he's such a fantastic bloke, and he's helped me out so much this year. So to be right next to him in the in the sister car to, to his, and, and learning pure straight or pure information straight off what he's just done on the track is going to be fantastic for me, and hopefully it'll edge me, edge me along a little bit, little bit more to try and stand by Mark in this top ten, and um, yeah, just uh, keep trying to aim for those top tens and those podiums, and um, yeah, not too sure what the you know what I'm thinking for next year where I should be, but. Um, and obviously I'm standing, stepping into a car that's been in the consistent top four of the championship, so it's a bit sad to try and go backwards from there, but saying that's a pretty hard task and a pretty big um, shoes to fill under Will Davison there. Well, that's it for this series of the Armour All Summer Grill. The regular Speed Cafe team will be on deck bringing you all the latest news and much less nonsense than the two of us have provided <laughs> over the break. Don't, don't forget to stay tuned to speedcafe.com for your daily racing fix. Each and every day on the Armour All Summer Grill, 
you've got the chance to win one of these, an Armour All gift pack. For your chance to win, simply click subscribe on speedcafe.com. And congratulations to today's winner. Armour All Custom Shield. Defend against paint chips, scratches, bugs and tar. Easy to apply, easy to remove. Scientifically formulated to resist the weather and elements for up to three months. Armour All Custom Shield, available now.